Flashing cyanogen mod 7.2 release candidate one. Revolutionary. Okay, guys. So um, I just wanted to go over how to flash a ROM. In this case, it is Cyanogen Mod's new 7.2 um, using the uh, new revolutionary clockwork mod uh, recovery. So I actually already have a video like this, but um, it's pretty old. It's using an older version. I believe it's 2.6.0.1 of clockwork mod. Um, so I just thought, uh, being that Cyanogen Mod 7.2 was just released, um, that I would show it again using the new um, recovery. Um, so here I'm just showing you that I'm currently running the uh, Cyanogen Mod 7.1. This phone in particular is the HTC Evo 4G, but uh, this process will be very very similar if not exactly identical on any phone using the revolutionary clockwork mod recovery so just go ahead and uh, hit the power button go to recovery select ok this will boot you into your uh, directly into the recovery without the need to shut it all the way down hit the power hit the volume down button and the power button to go go back into the H boot which then will give you the option to select recovery so uh, this goes directly into recovery and um, from there you have you, all of your uh, options so here we are and uh, what you want to do is definitely wipe uh, the cache partition first um, and the reason why we're not doing the wipe data factory reset first is because uh, we're going from an AOSP basically going from cyanogen straight to cyanogen so I don't need to um, so the next step is going to be go now to advanced wipe the Dalvik cache and um, I I wipe Dalvik cache twice I, I I'm sure it doesn't make any sense and you don't need to but I do it just to be safe um, so go to install a, a zip from SD card choose zip from SD card and then you're gonna go to your folder that you carry all your flashable items you're gonna scroll down using the volume rockers to the flashable item and then select it and scroll back down to yes flash you know whatever it is that you're flashing um, in case you were wondering why after you select the file you have to scroll down through the nose into the yes is it's a kind of like a security feature so you don't accidentally select that file and flash it um, when you didn't mean to um, <clears throat> so um, I, I think I've just touched on this but uh, if you were going from say cyanogen into a sense based ROM um, you would definitely need to, like say Synergy or something like that, you definitely need to uh, wipe all data and do the factory data reset uh, because a lot of things would start crashing and acting all funky if you didn't do that. But again, just because um, we went from Cyanogen into another Cyanogen ROM, um, we didn't have to. And the advantage of that is that I'm not going to have to uh, you know reload any apps or anything like that all of my settings and apps and all that will still be there okay so the ROM is flashed um, what you want to do next is flash your G apps okay um, so the G apps are Google Apps and uh, one thing that I was just reading on the Cyanogen Mod latest versions I think that's what it was their wiki um, is their G apps with the newer versions don't come with uh, things like Gmail and YouTube and all that stuff automatically installed um, and I believe this is just to keep that file smaller but uh, I had to go to um, the market and download all those um, which is fine I mean they're all available in the market and they're free so it's no big deal so once you're done flashing the G apps you're just gonna go to reboot and the phone will reboot and you'll see this nice little cyanogen mod uh, graphic that shows up and in case you haven't figured it out yet that is running at 200 percent playback speed okay so here we go um, 
This is Cyanogen Mod 7.2. Um, first thing I notice here is uh, they've changed their default accent colors to the cayenne blue color rather than I think it was orange before. Um, but again, it's all the scrolling and everything is nice and silky smooth thanks to the ADW launcher. Um, and there we are, Cyanogen Mod 7.2. And uh, these ROMs are AOSP, which means Android Open Source Project, and it is uh, basically vanilla Android. It's, there's no overlay like Sense or anything like that. So if you want a very stock Android look to, uh, in this case, it's gingerbread, um, go for an AOSP ROM. Um, so uh, these transitions that they've backported up or down from ICS are pretty cool. They're nice and smooth, as you can see. And uh, I'm going to show you another one here with the settings. But uh, anyway, hey, go hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Peace.